All right. I don't know who all can see a picture of that mountain man in that tree there with his hat on. But uh, that's what I'm seeing right there. This is where we stayed at last night. Uh, in the parking area here. Got Ice Man. Whoop, let me zoom this back out. If I can zoom it back out now. Have a guy, Ice Man. He came up to help us out. So uh, we stayed in this parking area last night. And uh, we're fixing to get back on the trail. Sorry, somebody's whining. He didn't get mentioned. <laughs> All right. So we're going to move on. Well, good morning. Screwball here. It is Friday, July 24th, day 126 of my Appalachian Trail journey. Uh, we stayed last night at a Forest Road parking area. I believe it's Forest Road 71 in Vermont. Uh, I'm not exactly sure of the mile marker we're on, but uh, we'll be going into uh, the Manchester area today. We're going to do about a 19 mile a day. Had a little bit of rain late yesterday evening. Pretty good thunderstorm came through. So everything's still a little wet, but today's supposed to be nice and sunny for the most part. Um, you can hear the birds chirping. Well, maybe you can hear the birds chirping. Um, but that's our plans. We are going over a uh, pretty good climb today. I think it's actually a ski resort mountain that we're going over today i'm not positive i haven't looked at the uh map maybe as good as i should have but that's what we got going on and starting this morning so um, i appreciate all y'all coming along for the journey and uh as usual and i think i did not tell you yesterday but i hope y'all having a great day i know we're going to so uh again thanks for coming along and when something comes up, I'll be glad to let you see it. All right, there's a first look over Beaver Pond this morning right after we got started. Don't see any moose or anything in it. Walk out here a little bit further. This is an older Beaver Pond. It's done drying up. All right, we'll move on up. All right, our first bridge crossing. A little log jam up the creek. All right, all these little water drainages are flowing good today due to the rain we've had in the last two days. I reckon they were in a drought until we walked into the state. And then when we walked into the state, boom, it started raining.
All right, the water runs down these trails. It makes big old washes down through here. Exposes all the rocks. Washes away all the topsoil and dirt. So a lot of these trails on these hills are washed out like this. But there's no water running down them now, so that's good. All right, we're nearly about to the top of the mountain. All right, all right here's a hut of some sort. Maybe the fire tower. Not sure. But uh, we're gonna show the trees or the small spruce pine or whatever. Got a garage up here sunbathing. So, whenever we get on up to the fire tower, I will get back on here and let you see it. All right, I don't know if you can hear me from up here, but that's we're up on the fire tower. At Somerset Reservoir, or Summer Rest Reservoir, the mountain of Aiden City. Um, so we, we came in from that direction. I'm not exactly sure, uh, exactly sure where we came in at. The ski slope right there. It's got a side trail going to it from here, but we're not going not going to walk that trail. young guys we've been hiking with the last couple of days all right gonna get down get out of this wind get back on trail all right here's a neat little water drainage we came down right there and crossed it Work our way down out of the mountain. We're getting back into the more of the hardwood timber out of the all the little spruce pine stuff, a lot of birch, um, which I'm not too familiar with. But uh, Bloodhound says it's a white birch and paper birch. So, and a few oak trees here and about. But, uh, maples here and there too you can hear the birds are chirping it's been a nice day the sun's been shining all day still get a few of these bright orange shrooms so that's what the trail's looking like right now I think we're gonna come up to the pond up here in a little bit. Stratton Pond or something like that. May not be the right name for it. Oh, there's your squirrel. There you went around the back side of that tree. But yeah. Uh, all right, I'm gonna let you get when we move on. If I come up on something good, I'll let you see it. 
All right, and we're here on Stratton Pond. Uh, this is a beachy area with a few tent sites around. Bloodhound over there trying to chase a butterfly and get a picture of it, it's flying off. But uh, that's Stratton Pond, and we're gonna move on north. All right, we've come across another pretty good little stream here. You see how brown it is compared to, you know, the Carolinas or Georgia. You know, the Smokies and stuff. It's just the acid or whatever. And it's got more leaf, you know, vegetation decay in it or what. But, uh, it's not a very clear, it's like a weak tea color in it. All right, screwball here. <clears throat> We're running along with the long trail right now. I place trail and the long trail. I'm using the same path, but this looks like the remnants of an old powered wheel, belt driven wheel of some sort. With some other little odds and ends laying around, but about 50 miles, 50 miles, about 50 yards upstream. There looked to be, maybe, it used to be a dam. I don't see anything in this area right here that looks like a dam. And, um, but if you look upstream a little ways, there's a little spot that looks like it might be remnants of a dam. So they may have had a, some kind of mill in this area at one time that used that uh, <clears throat> with water power. But that's only a speculation, so we're gonna move on up the trail. All right, we're getting in a little bit of road walk right now. I don't know how long a road walk we'll have, but uh, sort of a backwoods forest road, I reckon. And it says we'll walk up to a gate, and when we get to the gate, we'll most likely turn. So evidently this road is gated. Uh, like I said, I don't have no idea how far we'll travel it. But it's a little change and it's okay. All right, this is overlooking Manchester, Vermont. See the mountains in the background, they're getting on up there pretty good. Pretty good valley here. And we are at mile marker 1649.1. Bloodhound trying to mess me up there. Our mile mark is 1649.1. So we got about four more miles to do today. But uh, that's uh, this is Prospect Rock we're standing on. And that is Manchester, Vermont. All right, we just walked up on these rocks here. See all the rocks out there in the distance? They go outcropping. I believe it's Spruce Peak Overlook or something like that. All right, I think we're on our final descent today. Got a maybe a mile left. I don't think we got a mile left. See the rock outcroppings on this hill we're going down. But a mile today we put in a little over 19 miles. I'll try to get you a more exact number when we get down there. 
been a great day. It's been sunshine. It didn't really get too warm until probably one or two o'clock. Then it got pretty warm. But uh, it's been a really good day. So this is what we're looking at going down the hill. You hear the road down there. So uh, I'll catch back up with you when we get down there. All right, screwball here with Ice Man. Oh. <laughs> Caught him by surprise. But, um, he's been gracious enough to be with us for two days, uh, helping us out. He uh, set up this evening when we come across the road here. Actually had some uh, barbecue sandwiches, which were really great. So today we did a 17.5, uh, 19, what did I say? 19.5 or 17.5? 19.5. And uh, Mylar today. So uh, we're fixing to go find us a place to pitch our tents and hammocks and get everything set up for tonight. And I appreciate y'all watching. We'll see y'all in the morning.